welcome to the Boyfriends Podcast, where we help you find your circle and, and your, your man. man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jared D. King. I'm here with Tony and Melvin. Uh, we have a bit of a smaller group than usual. Um, but still a goodie. Still, still a goodie. Still a goodie. Be a great one, actually. Uh, so Ron is not with us, so he won't be with us for the next two episodes because, you know, we record these two at a time. Mm-hmm. Uh, Renee is not with us. Uh, she is, I think she's having a uh, big fun. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Real big fun. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, she won't be with us for the next four episodes, but um, it'll be fun when we get everybody back in the building. You know, we, we got a lot of people, so a lot of moving parts, so sometimes it's hard to get us all together. Oh, yes. Um, but what has been going on with you guys lately? What has been, um, what's been going on? What's the update? Hmm. Thanksgiving. Well, oh, yes, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. That's Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Yeah. Happy holidays, all that good stuff. Mm-hmm. Any, any interesting, uh, awkward moments, awkward family moments? <laughs> I didn't, you know, my family doesn't live here. I'm from Houston, so I was just, it was more so Friendsgivings for me. Mm-hmm. Mm. Did a couple of friendsgivings. Gotcha. I, just, I have one today. I have a friendsgiving today. Oh, do you? Ooh. Yes. I'm. I'm tired of cooking. Like they know I cook, and I'm tired of cooking, y'all. Oh, are you cooking? I'm cooking. Just oh, a couple dishes, but I had to cook for a my family dishes. for Thanksgiving. So Oof. I'm tired. <laughs> Please. <laughs> yeah, I was just with family. Um, you know, I and, and I went to. Uh, we ate at home, and then mm-hmm. we went to Jersey to go watch the football game. And we ate some more there. So, right. yeah, I'm like, all right, I'm ready to go back to the gym because I'm not trying to be, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to do like that. Take, you can know you take my stomach with you? <laughs> Just take I my stomach you. and work my stomach out for me. Oh, my gosh. I can't hardly work on my own stuff. <laughs> I saw your oatmeal cookies that you made. Oh, yeah. I was like, oh, my God. That's like, I do that like on Christmas. I oh, do, do you? Cookies, like, Little cookies. Uh, the, uh, Christmas Eve. Okay. And I take my nephew. We make a gingerbread house. Oh, you know, nice. So. That's what I'm saying. Oh, give me like a little nostalgia mm-hmm. when I saw those oatmeal mm-hmm. cookies. I'm excited <laughs> to drink eggnog. I, I haven't never, I've never had eggnog before. I had on Thanksgiving eggnog and rum. Mm, not a fan. So is it rum? <laughs> is rum based? No. Well, I put rum in my eggnog. Do people put other kind of? Sorry. I think they do. I wouldn't mind a little whiskey eggnog. Oh, that sounds whiskey good. is one. Whiskey is one. Oh. But I don't, I don't really know. I've never had it. We'll I'm not out. a fan. It just seems wrong. Egg. Egg? You're drinking egg? Are you drinking egg or is it? Like, I don't even know what's in it. Like, it looks dairy. It's good and it tastes good. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the egg or oh, it's, it's a, the white, but it's good. It's a Spanish one too. That's really coquito. good. Coquito. Coquito. Yes. Are we saying it right, y'all? Coquito. I don't know. That sounds See? about right. Coquito. <laughs> I mean, from what I've seen, that seems about right. Um, so we've got an uh, interesting topic today. Uh, basically, the question, like the the short version of this topic is playing hard to get and whether or not you should play hard to get when dating somebody. Um, I guess the question that I kind of formulated in my head, which was a lot longer and it's like, it's not, um, it's not YouTube or uh, podcast friendly was why do I feel the need to not be as interested in the person that I'm interested in? yeah, pursuing or dating or interested in, basically, yeah. So, um... You kind of messed me up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, I'll, what it? Okay. So, <laughs> but that's I'm why like, I didn't, so that's why I didn't go there in the first place. Okay. So let's say, this is the example, I'm assuming. You got a guy, you find him attractive, mm-hmm. y'all have been flirting, but in order to get him to actually like you, you feel like you need to almost ignore him or play him to the left in order to get the attention that you want. Exactly, yeah. Um, and I also feel like sometimes when, like, you could have this little flirtatious dynamic, but then as soon as you show, like, real interest, then it, they kind of pull back or then it's like, okay, it becomes different, you know? It's mm-hmm. like, you were interested before, but now that I'm showing, or, or maybe I haven't been showing as much interest. Maybe it's not even a flirtatious thing. Maybe it's just, like, the one person you know, who's sending you good morning texts, hello, Mm -hmm. how you doing? Absolutely. And then all of a sudden, you know, the next day you text him good morning and then it's like, oh, wait a minute, it's getting too serious. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, and I don't know, have you guys ever been in that situation? I have. Okay. I have as well. I mean, I basically let it ride out. So my simple answer to this question, should you play hard to get? Absolutely. And there are certain... (laughs) (laughs) But... Is that the short... That's the short answer. The short answer is absolutely. (laughs) And there are certain factors that you must consider. So what is the end goal for you? What is the result that you're trying to achieve? 
If it's a little cat mouse game, okay, why not play? You, but if you really feel like you are getting somewhere to be serious, I think the vulnerability kicks in. Mm-hmm. And that's the whole piece that we're trying to get down to. Are you really willing to be vulnerable? Mm. When you really look at this question, are you really willing to be vulnerable? I think absolutely in certain cases. <laughs> <laughs> so um, for me, I have a, a story to tell. Oh, yes. uh, we like stories. We yeah. like yeah. stories. Uh, what, what do they call <laughs> Parable, <Yeah. laughs> if you will. <laughs> no, it's actually real life. So... Um, my partner now, Jeremy. Everybody knows Jeremy. Um, so, hey, Jay. Hey, baby. <laughs> uh, so when we first met, I definitely played hard to get. Um, and it wasn't like on purpose. I, I guess it was on purpose. It was more so to see if he was really interested in me. Um, when we first met, we met at a club. And he, off the rip, told me, you know, I'm I'm a party promoter. That's what I do. And everybody knows party promoters have a horrible rep. Like, they, mm. they known for getting around. Not all party promoters, obviously. <laughs> I got one, but <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean that's that was just a rep. So I automatically was just like, okay, this will be fun. We'll do what we do, and it'll be the end of it. Yeah. Here we are four years later. But um, in that, but bef- before we got to where we are now, obviously I wanted to, you know, really make sure he was into me. So I ignored him for like the first two weeks of us talking. Like, what do you mean? Really? You mean ignore? And I'm not gonna say ignore. I text back, but I would text back slow. Or kind maybe, of, no maybe double, not kind of like now. Hers. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, no double Listen. texting now. So oh no, it was no double texting, Ooh. and I made sure he texted me in the morning. Like I was like, I need to know that this man really likes me, and so I was like. I'm going to let him text me. I'm going to let him make the first move. Until, like like I said, it took about two weeks. And then he finally charged my ass up. He was like, hey, like, what's up? Do you want me or not? Like, because I'm not finna keep playing with you. Do you want me or not? Because I'm not going to keep on playing on playing with your ass. And that was the end of that. And here we are. Four That's kind of sexy, though, isn't it? It was very sexy. And I, I, when I say it, I was like, okay. <laughs> I, I, I got it. Okay. And for the kids out there, the double texting, it's like, that's almost a sign of like, oh, if I double text you, that means you have the power on your side. It's like I'm reaching out to you. I'm interested in you, and and I learned this. You know, I'm a therapist. I learned this from one of my younger patients. You know, I was like, so he was like, yeah, yeah. This girl keep double texting. I was like, well, wait, wait, what is double text? Double I said, text what is? Too. Is that a bad thing? He was like, Mr. Tony, yeah. I was like, why? <laughs> he was like, because when they double text you, that shows that they are pressed. <laughs> I, I said, oh, I said, well, isn't that a good thing? He was like. No, it's not a good thing, Mr. Tony. I was like, okay, well, thank you for giving me the lesson. And so I learned, do not double text. Don't double text. Don't double so text. So if you That's say really hey, then you can't say you can't say nothing else after you say hey. <laughs> okay, so they have to say hey next. Yeah. Okay. I think I feel like there are levels to that though. Because this my, is a one thing is like sure, yes. one thing is like you know you wait for a response and mm-hmm. don't just be like, are you there? Don't like say hey and then like you know. Three minutes later, text, you know, hello, like, are you there or something? Mm-hmm, like, don't mm-hmm. don't actually press them. But I feel like, you know, you give it a good amount of time Absolutely. or you um, or something else pops up that you just want to say, hey, I just checked this out. They didn't maybe they didn't answer last time. And you just want to not even touch base, but you just want to tell them about your day or something that had happened. Mm-hmm. Then I feel like it's OK to to double text. I, don't I mean, yeah, n- n- obviously this is like. I don't want to say like a joke, but the double. If you're really interested, really interested in someone, I don't see anything wrong with double texting. I don't. But either. you shouldn't like triple text or quadruple text because oh. <laughs> then that's that's pressed. Yeah. No. 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 I mean, I think really, I think I don't know. I don't know how it is for y'all, but I can kind of feel energy even through text. Mm-hmm. I think because I don't know. Maybe I think it's because you pick up on patterns. Yes. And when the pattern is interrupted, then you know something is off. And so, I, you know, you can kind of tell if you're coming from a place of being pressed or it's just like a genuine, like, you know, I'll reach out to you and, you know, whatever happens, happens. Mm-hmm. You know, it's very easy. Um, so, yeah, people can pick up on that, I feel. So, let me say this. I agree. Um, we like you've already both said I'm a horrible texter, mm. and so I don't necessarily agree with being able to read energy through text because I am a horrible texter. But that doesn't mean I'm not interested. I just 
Sometimes I will be texting and somebody will start a conversation with me and I will stop texting and forget to text you back. And it's not malicious. It's not, it doesn't mean I'm not interested. It doesn't mean any of those bad things. It just means mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I simply forgot. Yeah. And it's just, it, that just is what it is. I'm just forgetful, I guess, in that sense. But um, Same here. I think w- you can notice energies when you feel like your energy isn't being matched. Like, let's say we're having a conversation. Maybe I'm not texting back as fast as you would like, but if I'm engaged in the conversation and not giving you one word answers, then maybe you should take that instead of more so the speed that I'm texting mm-hmm, back. Mm-hmm. You know, I've gotten I've gotten past uh, worrying about how quickly somebody texts back. It took me a long time, <laughs> trust me. <laughs> took me a while. That. But yeah, I kind of got past. I kind of got past that. So now I'm like, you know, I'll send a text out, and whether they see it or not, I'm gonna go about my day because whatever they have to say doesn't really impact, you know. Unless I'm unless this is like you know spur of the moment or I'm trying to plan something like, and we need to mm-hmm. be there in like two minutes, and I'm not getting anything back. You know, that's yeah. a little bit different. Um, but yeah, I mean, I feel like, like I said, like I feel like the there's certain patterns to speaking with people, mm-hmm. um, and you know when, you know, you know when there's when when it shifts, you know, like I can always tell. I mean, I I don't know, maybe I don't even know if we're really on opposite ends of the spectrum as far okay. as this po- topic is concerned, but I just feel like because I feel like we're kind of speaking the same thing, maybe saying it in a different way. Um, but I always feel like you know when when you're when you're texting with somebody that you're talking to, you can always um, tell yeah, when. You can, yeah, I get what you're saying. Like basically, changes, you can yeah. tell like you go from texting me, asking me questions, to now just <laughs> answering my questions or mm-hmm. sending me really quick responses. Like, yeah, I had a great day, right. but not asking me about how my day went. Right. Or something I, I, like I that. agree with that, and I had to, um, I guess, make an adjustment with my my style of communication mm-hmm. um, because I I'm very jam packed, busy. Like patience, assessments, sessions, you know, and so sometimes it can be back to back to back to back to back, and you mm. might text me at nine o'clock. I don't get back to you like one, two thirty, three o'clock. I'm like, oh hey, how you doing? He was like, well, I text you early. Listen, mm-hmm. I make it very known in the beginning. If we start dating, I'm very busy. I said, I value time, and I promise you, I will not waste your time. But wasted time is worse than wasted money. So if I say, listen, I am busy, I will hit you up at my earliest convenience. I promise you that. This is the moment when I have found a time slot in my day. I'm not trying to be rude, but then I have made small adjustments. If there's a two-minute break, just checking in, how you doing? You know, because I would I will, I will go hours without texting or talking to the person I'm trying to get to know. And I have been getting um, better with that. Somebody asked me, so, damn, are you interested or not? I'm like, oh my God, yes I am. <laughs> like he was like, Well, we barely talk, you know, we only talk at nighttime and we only got a couple hours before you go to bed. He was like, I don't I don't get to spend time. I'm like, I am so sorry. And so it's not me playing hard to get. It's literally me being very busy. And I mm-hmm. always hit the thing where people say, Well, nobody's that busy. Oh. I used to believe that. Mm-hmm. I honestly used to believe that until I actually started to live it. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know about that. So I think the notion we have about our communication styles that plays a part of mm-hmm. it playing hard to get, or it can seem like it's playing a part of uh, uh, playing hard to get. If I'm not being as available as you would like it, you may think I'm playing the game, but I'm not. But what about those considerations when we talk about dating? Um, I was I was actually gonna bring that up, so I'm glad you did. I was gonna say that I think it boils down to intention, and I think you bring that up a lot too. So like, you can play hard to get as long as the intention is the same Mm -hmm. as the other person. So like I'm playing hard to get, but both of our intentions is to end up being together, then that this little game we're playing doesn't matter. But let's say maybe you're more interested than I am. Mm -hmm. So I'm playing hard to get, but it's more so just because I don't really know if this is what I want. So I'm gonna just play my options until I get that till I get till I'm till I'm sure about what what decision I want to make. And so yeah, I think it boils down to intention, you know? Like, I mean, and- I, 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 I get what you're saying as far as maybe not necessarily... I mean, because when you, when you say you're just trying to get to a place of being sure, mm-hmm. then that to me doesn't say that you're necessarily playing hard to get. I mean, I mean you know, maybe there's some, uh, some different version of that for you. But 
I don't I just I just feel like we can be genuine, honestly. I don't necessarily feel like playing hard to get is like I don't think that's disingenuous, especially early stages in the relationship. Right. Or or I don't even call it a relationship. Me getting to know you early stages. It's like I, I might I might put you through the ringer just a, a little bit. Do you are you even attracted to me? Do you even are you were you drunk? Are you is that haze removed off your face, right. off your eyes when we met in a bar? Are you really, really trying to go down this roller coaster ride? I want to know. Thought, I thought he was going to stop at trying to go down. <laughs> <laughs> we can go down, bring it back up, no. and go right back down. Really? But I Hello? think when you meet somebody in a bar, you give them some of your energy. You want to say, mm-hmm. okay, well, we were both drunk. Like, what, what you really... Okay, let's let's see. I'm, right. If I meet your bar, I might not text you for a day or two. If I give you my number, I'm going to say, okay, you interested, text me. Call me. Make your move. Mm-hmm. Especially when you ask for my number. Oh, yeah. Because mm-hmm. cool. that plays another part into it. Who asks for who number? Hello? Because when I ask for people number, I'm, I'm going to say I'm an aggressive encourager. <laughs> I'll say that. Um, but I'm like, hey, I met you last night. How you doing? I really think you're attractive. Maybe we should get coffee sometime. You know, or a, a, a nice little dinner. That shows my intention. I want to get to know you. I'm not going to back off after I went after you. I pursued right. you. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Something came up for me, actually. Um, and y'all might think I'm crazy. I don't know. You might you might agree with me if I explain it the right way. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, so I was talking to this guy on uh, on Grindr. Um, and, you know, I was, you no, know, it was date talk. It wasn't the other kind of talk. Um, and... <laughs> <laughs> can we can we get a explanation yeah, on what the other talk is? Y'all know what that is. No, we y'all, don't. Y'all, we y'all, y'all the viewers don't, don't know what the other talk is. To me, it's all the date talk. It's, it's all date, date talk. So what you talking talk. about? It's not. Versus. Versus the other kind. Verse. Um, <laughs> oh, versus sex talk. <laughs> <laughs> um, so basically, I had asked this guy, I, you know, we were talking a little bit, and I asked, you know, I said, hey, can, you know, can I get your number? Um, and he said, you can follow me on Instagram. And I, you know, I've responded, you know, I respectfully decline, but here's my number. And if you want to reach out, then okay. Yes. But uh, because I don't know, like, and I don't, I feel like this might be a little bit off topic, but whatever. So. <laughs> I, I, I got you because I'm going to bring it back because I already, I already okay, got my next okay. point. So I was just, so I mean, I just, I was like, if I ever told anybody that they would think I was crazy for like not just going with the flow, but I just feel like if my intention is to um take you out or go on a date and you know i show that vulnerability of saying you know hey can i get your can i get your number and it met with wait a minute like er, like you know like instagram let's just keep it let's keep it there then at that point i'm like okay well you're not really we're not really on the same page yeah it's kind of what i was thinking exactly now what do you so i'm gonna go the opposite way yeah i thought so (laughs) (laughs) and i'm gonna go your way (laughs) but look it's because this is what i think um playing hard to get some time means that i don't feel comfortable giving you all of me yet. I don't feel comfortable sh- giving that vulnerability yet. Yes, I do enjoy talking to you, but maybe my number is a part of me that I don't give out to everybody. So we haven't even went on a date yet. So how can I say I feel comfortable enough to give you, not saying this is me, cause I think that's kind of silly, but I've met people like that. Um, cause Instagram is more so for the world. My phone number, my personal number is more so for me. And so, me saying that you can't have my number isn't necessarily me saying you can never have my number. It just means that right now we're still in a developing stage and I don't feel comfortable enough yet. Okay. I mean, the thing about it is like, first of all, we're on an app. And then you want to take me to another app. And it's just like, it's like, well, where are we going? Like, Wasting well, fucking time. Jack is, can we just say Jack is not very social, you know? Uh, but I mean, we could stay there and talk if that's all you want to do. You know, and then that's all, that's my point. And the other thing is, if you say, you know, first of all, he said you can follow me on Instagram. He didn't say let's follow each other on Instagram. See, I think no, that should be no, implied. Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, no. He got this pompous thing about him. Whoever he was, you real pompous. <laughs> like you real good. You got this air about you. My thing is, and I, I I went that direction before, but that's because the conversation. It was like, oh, okay, I'm vibing with you. And say, like, hey, and I always say, hey. Here's my number. I said, it's up to you if you want to use it or not. 
I said, I'm fine here. I said, but I really like the conversation where things are going. Here, if you use or not, that's fine. Totally cool with that. Mm-hmm. I don't give out my Instagram, my Facebook, anything, because I feel like that is more intimate. Mm-hmm. That is more personal. Like somebody I'm thinking right now, absolutely not. He asked me, I was like, oh, no, 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 no. Because you're seeing stuff that I would show people that I wouldn't normally show people I'm dating at first. Because you might have an impression of me that might turn you off. Or it's like, oh, I'm not... That's for people who extremely know me well. Know mm-hmm. me extremely well. Mm-hmm. So here's my number we can text until we get to the point where you know part of, part of my um my personality. So you cannot judge me if I give you my Instagram. It's like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. that's Tony. Yeah. So the other oh, part yeah. of it, the other part of it is that, you know, people will look at your social media and try to like mm-hmm. draw some conclusions about the type kind of person that you exactly. are as opposed to you know, so I so I get that. Like sometimes, so, yeah. So what's the point of so you get the phone number just to text some more, but you can text on the app or you can text on I've heard Instagram. That before. So what's the difference? The difference is that there's a closer level of um, it's a little bit more personal. So can I say that's how you feel? But some other people might feel the opposite way. I think they feel it's a little bit more personal too, and that's why they run away from it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But he just said he would rather give out his phone number than social media. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? So clearly to him, his social media is more personal than his phone number. Mm -hmm. So I'm just saying that I think for different people, things are are just a little bit more intimate. But the phone number is like, hey, saying like, this is going really, really well. Okay, so I like this speed that we're going. I want to bring it up. Because for me, the intention, I want to date, I want to get off this app. I'm not going to be on this app. Because once I... If I'm like I'm vibing with you and I'm entertained by our whatever we got, I'm not entertaining nobody else. Right. And so I'm not even gonna need this app anymore for those purposes. My purpose is to have you text me, call me, so we can entertain each other in that mode. Mm-hmm. If you look at it that way. So can I say this about your specific situation? Mm-hmm. Did you set the intention prior to asking the number, asking for the number? Did you like, hey, this is my goal, this is my end goal? Or whatever. I'm not saying you asked, told the boy you ready to get married or anything, but did you let him know <laughs> that hey, my intention is to find a partner to be dating or something like that? Um, I don't remember. I don't remember the uh, exact conversation that we had. I do know that it went more down a friendly, um, and maybe more of a relationship slash dating kind of route. The conversation. How that long we were y'all had. talking on the app before you extended your number? Not long, not long. But I mean, it's just like you know, when the when it's flowing, like I don't want to have to, you know, say see you later and then pop up the next day on the app. It's just like I don't know if it's if it's going well, then go with it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. That's so just me. Break his comfort zone to make you comfortable. No, it's so, not, no, no, no. no. <laughs> I'm just saying that's that's basically what you just no, said. No, I'm not giving you that point. <laughs> No, that is that's what you just said. He's like, you don't need to be comfortable. I need to be comfortable. If I can't be comfortable, then we just can stop so it right here. So where's the meeting? No. Where do you meet? He said, follow him on Instagram. And and to do what? You can call on Instagram. You can Facetime on Instagram. And if somebody did that, you can you're do crazy that on. Hell. You can do that on the app too. <laughs> you can Facetime on the app. Yeah. What? Oh, Child, great. I've been gone too long. <laughs> but uh, so uh, that's my point. Like I think. For for me specifically, I don't think the number is that it don't hold that much weight for me. Okay, so wait, let's let's bring it let's bring it away from the apps. Like, if yeah. you meet somebody in person, are you more likely to exchange numbers? Are you more likely to exchange Instagram if you're Instagram. interested in dating this person? I've seen it. I've I do seen Instagram. It, right. Really, I've yeah. seen it both on both ends. But today, people say, "Oh, well, let me follow you." Let me. But was that more dating? Or is that more friend so, type of stuff? For me, it's both. Because for me, I feel like I've had some weird people have my phone number. And so people have called me or like blew my phone up. And I'm like, why the fuck do they keep calling me? You know? And so now it's easy to give out my Instagram because shit, I could I could take another follower. And I don't mind following back either. And I can block you. And I can block you. But and you can be block the on the phone too. They can call from a different number. Exactly. People crazy. Mm, so, I so I'm just saying. I, I guess growing with that. the times there. Yeah, you gotta grow with the is times. That the, is that what it is? I guess so. Y'all I still mean, y'all still walking I'm, around the club with a pen and paper talking about can I get uh, your number? I roll a deck. <laughs> <laughs> y'all gotta speed it. It's okay. Instagram is not it's not a bad thing. You making it seem like he was like, I don't want to talk to you. It's no a more. curve though. I mean, like when somebody comes at you this way. 
and you're not meeting them. That's you don't want to play. No, that's not hard to get. That's just I'm not interested like that, and we can keep friend level. That's how you took it. No, I'm because because now I gotta keep. Now I have to work again. So like we did this, we were talking on an app, and we did all the work, and we got the conversation going, we got the momentum going, and now I need to go to Instagram. And now we have to have another conversation and get the momentum going over here. I don't think that's And it's just like, well, true. like, what are we? I don't think the momentum feel like, is gone. I, feel I think like, he was giving you another piece of him. Mm, that's how I would have took it. Like, no, I wouldn't have went for these the people number, want but. Instagram followers. <laughs> <laughs> and if he didn't follow you back, I think you should have took it from there. Be like, OK, maybe he's not interested if he didn't follow you back. But the fact that he said he could have really just said, no, I would rather keep it here. What if he said then that? you should have just said that. Right. He and didn't say that, though. More. He didn't say, he said, let me give this man another piece of me. Well, what I'm is not this really... going to do? Like... Yeah, like you said, you get to see more of him. You get to see more of his personality. You don't see that on Jack. They got five pictures on. I did five. <laughs> they have five pictures on there, maybe, and a little piece of a piece of them on their bio. But with Instagram, you get to see who they hang with, what their mannerism are, how they talk. If That's they have why you can a... connect your Instagram on these apps now. You can? Yes, you can. And they can see your Instagram pictures. So Not even going to your Instagram. I'm just saying, like, okay. you just should take it. I would have took it as he is showing me another piece of You him. know, part of me, I think part of the problem is that I've done that many times before. And mm-hmm. it's always very, it's always, and like many times they won't even answer you back on Instagram. It's like, you know, it's just, you're you're collecting followers. It's, that's what I feel. Well, how long does it take for you to even have that type of um, option available? For you to extend that option? Like, what's the average time frame before you say, hey, here's my number, or can I have your number? Um, Average time? It'll be, it'll be with, if the conversation's really good, it will be within that first conversation. I mean, it may take, it may oh, be no. like an hour no, long an conversation. Hour. No, Jer- I sh- what are you no. talking about? Look, if you meet somebody in a bar, you're not, you're not talking to them for two days. You're talking to them for 15 minutes and then you give them your number. Mm-mm. This ain't old school no more. <laughs> like no, it's Jerry. the same and thing. And people are crazy online. Oh, you don't, you on. hide, you hide behind this <laughs> thing. You gotta like, I'm gonna give really out my number within the that first couple an hour of talking. No. The person I'm talking to on Hinge, we was talking for days and weeks. First time he messaged me was in February. I wasn't even on the app. I, just, I, I had the, the profile active, but I wasn't even on it. I went back in October, and I saw back in February, he had like my picture. I was like, hey, how are you? He immediately responded. He was like, oh, what? finally great to talk to you. I was like, I said, okay. The point when I'm trying to make boy back in February. He messaged me. Well, he liked my picture. I messaged him. From October up until this point, it's been messaging on end, messaging back and forth. Great conversation. I finally asked him. I said, hey, here's my number. You can use it if you want. But not in no damn hour. Even the conversation okay. was and going so, great. Look, okay. to, to put to, before you go, because you I know you was about to go to the club scene, right? <laughs> no. In the club scene, you get more you get more you, you get, get you i get, get to that. see you i get to see your memory i get to see how you act i get to see everything right. i want to see right then i don't have to guess through text on how you are and so when you're messaging it's different because i'm trying to make an image of who you mm-hmm. are through words compared to now i'm in person and but i get to see you. i'm just like first of all first of all you uh when you meet online, like, and I don't know whether this is a straight thing or not, but if you meet somebody on like an online dating app, many, a lot of times people will go on a date that night. Really? Now I don't know. Why? And I think that, I think that may be a difference That's in the crazy. gay and straight community. I don't um, even know you. Exactly. So you go on a date to get to know the person. Absolutely not that not. night. You trying to get to know them. There's text, a, there's an app. No there was an app that's called, um, that I, I don't know whether it's out yet, but it's called like Thursday or something. And you can only use it on Thursday. And it's for people who want to go on a date like that night or like that day. And so that's, and so it's a thing. Now, I don't see it happen that often in the, in the gay community quite often. And I, well, I gays, don't know. And I don't know. hook up that yeah. night. I don't know what it is in, you know, I don't know how that is. But I also know that I can't, 
I lose interest if I'm just texting you all the time. I can't fall in love with you. I can't I can't get to know you or, or through text. I it's just but you can't get to know them within an hour regardless. But if I see you in person, I'll get to know you. How? Remember we talked about because that you a couple feel over you... people send their representative. They don't send themselves. They send a representative of themselves. So you still you, you not going to know still, the real them. You still can't. But okay, so what do you like I just feel like it's a lot of I don't know, like do you guys get to a point where you're really feeling this person? Yeah. Yeah. And that's I think that's okay. You just, I just think that you ha- you can't force somebody to be where you are, you sure and then can. can't get no. you can't get mad at them no, that they're no, no. not. And there I'm either. not I'm not trying to force anybody to be where I am either. I just think you know I think really I feel like it's one of those things where you just have to meet people who are at the same, who are feeling the same kind of or but on the same never wavelength. Know. Well, what you do, and this is the advice to everybody out there: you do you, you be you. That's what I said. Naturally, people are going to be drawn to your light or repelled from your light. You don't, you don't, you don't mm-hmm. know until you just be you. Listen, it's a 50-50 chance that somebody's going to fuck with you. It's a 50-50 chance somebody ain't going to fuck with you. That's I, I can't control the narrative regardless. I'm going to be Tony regardless. And most of the times, people love the boisterous, bubbly, loud person because it's me and it works for me. Do you? And yeah. people who are really and I'm doing wanting me. to be you. But that's so why what I'm you saying. get offended when they're not? Moving at your pace. I don't get offended. I mean, it's Sarah. Sounds of, come, you come sound on. offended. Oh my God. Come on, Jared. Let's you talk do about sound it. Offended. I don't get offended. Do I was just, I didn't get offended. Let's do it. I it's told, a, I you, gave, you I gave, said, in my example, I gave the guy a respectful, uh, I was just like, you know, here's my number. You know, I respect I respect where you are. If you if you want to come at me on this level, then that's okay. But I'm not going to follow you on Instagram. I'm, I'm you know, I declined that. Um. And what he said when you declined? He didn't respond. Okay. Well. So, okay. You know, and I'm okay with that. It's like, I just, I don't feel like it's necessarily, uh, I don't think, like, I, don't, I feel like there's no wrong way necessarily um, to be. I think it's just about, you know, weeding out the people who aren't necessarily on, uh, on the same wavelength as you are. And you do that by molds. Of, of exactly what you just did. You weeded the motherfucker out. You do that exactly like with the process you went through. So I have a question. You don't like when boys play hard to get, I'm assuming. You don't like that. But um, if you do, if you don't mind it or whatever, give me an example of what is an acceptable way of playing hard to get for you that you will be like, oh, I can still do this. Because for me, what he did was playing hard to get. Okay. Well... I don't know. I like uh, I like genuine interaction. I don't so like you don't trying like to. Hard to get. No, because it feels it's just very it's just it's it's too much of a game, and I'm like I just don't, I don't have time to play games. I don't. But some of it is a cat and mouse game. Mm-hmm. I'm serious. When you're dating, and this is genuine dating, when you get to know somebody, dating is an investment. Am I ready to put that investment if I don't even? Am I ready I to make to that investment? I need to know you're worth it. I need to know exactly. you're going to be worth it. I, need to I, I didn't want to say that, too. but... And that's what I'm yeah. saying. There are different avenues to get to know somebody, and I personally cannot get to know anybody through text. All I can, all I get, all I can know is uh, whether you can spell... <laughs> and that's a big that's a big thing though. <laughs> you know, it's like I don't I, I don't get a I don't get an energy. I don't like and I'm just I don't open up unless I'm feeling unless I'm feeling an energy like and I know uh you, get much you know more nine t- over, over the phone would you get that much more over the phone I get a little bit more over the phone yeah what if like the energy what? changes there's so much more vocal via text but then when you get on the phone it's like hey are, are you there cuz yeah. I've seen the, I've seen yeah. that too well then mm-hmm. that's some I mean if and if you don't if you don't like that then that's somebody you know that you're not they're not comfortable in. talking on the phone, but they are, they love to text all fucking day. I'm like, listen, I can't text all day. Well, I, I mean, your relationship phone. is not going to be over text. So it's like, why are, mm-hmm. like, you okay. know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I just feel like if you're pursuing a relationship, if you're serious about looking for a relationship, it's not about moving straight into the relationship, but it's just like, you know, if, I, if I'm interested in you, I want to get out into the real world and get to know you. Do you play hard again? Me? No. Me? Yeah. 
No, no, I don't. And I think that's part of my problem is that I just don't like I I will try to be I will try to like ease my way in. I don't try to go like all the way, but you know, it comes to a point where it's just like it's just too much like do I do this, do I do that? And I'm just like, no, let me just do what I feel is right and okay, let okay. the chips fall where they may because I can't I can't do all the uh all the strate- all the strategizing. So Liz, Liz, can I? Uh, well, can we make a definition real quick or define a line somewhere? What is playing hard to get and playing games? I I, I like that. Like because some people will. Yeah, like I think it's okay. I like to you know I like to chase after who I'm uh, interested in too. You know I want them to know I'm interested, but I also like that feeling. Now the difference is when I don't feel that reciprocated you know Mm -hmm. like so that's when we're playing games it's like okay do you want me or no and so let's can we make a definition between playing hard to get in playing games i had did a segment on um on instagram was the wednesday about the fuck boy Mm. and if you are the fuck boy you know who you are and Mm -hmm. we don't have to go into full details about what i discussed what a fuck boy is but playing games is breadcrumbing Mm. little breadcrumbs Jesus. along the fucking way to keep you interested, to keep you entertained, to keep you engaged. Minimal. Happy Thanksgiving. Merry Christmas. Bread Happy crumb. birthday. Come out. But no bread text crumb. in between. Breadcrumb. Okay. Don't, that's playing games. Don't fucking breadcrumb me. Okay, don't keep me engaged along the way. I want true, genuine engagement. And it's like, I'm doing little things just to keep you right on the cusp. When you, I know you about to roll out. When I know you about to leave. It's like, oh, mm-hmm. hey, how was your day? Don't hear you from, don't hear from you from two days. That's not going to fly. Mm-hmm. These bird comes that's playing games. Mm-hmm. Now, cat and mouse game or play hard to get, oh, when I'm going to see you? Oh, I don't know. Maybe when you make time. Oh, I don't know. Right, when you want to yes. see me. It's like playing hard to get is a, almost a flirtatious line. You gotta. It's it's really a really thin line between playing hard to get and playing games. So we're gonna say playing hard to get is showing interest, but mm-hmm. wanting someone to chase you. Initiative. Yes. You, show me I some see initiative. How you taking the initiative? Right. Now playing games is more so like. <laughs> I just want to keep you around, but okay. not necessarily. Yeah. So let me throw this out here because I feel like, you know, within straight relationships, the roles are a bit more defined, a bit more clearly defined. Mm-hmm. But when you're talking about like male, male relationships. Who plays hard to get in male, female relationships? The woman. The woman plays hard to get. Yeah. Typically. Typically, traditionally, I guess that would now, be that would be the idea. It's twenty twenty one, so we like it's he was different. saying the fuck boys. I mean, now they them the ones that you got to worry about because they be having these girls out here acting well, crazy. But that's the, those are the people that are playing games. You right. know what I'm saying? So, but it's like who plays hard to get in, in the our in our relationship. Happy relationship? And if we're both playing hard to get, then it comes to a part where it's like. You know, maybe we both end up playing games because we both is, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I get that. You know? Because honestly, had Jeremy never did the little check me moment, we probably would still have been just it would have been very surface level. Really? Cause honestly, I didn't I didn't wasn't sure if he was interested. I wasn't sure. I didn't know if he well, now granted he did call, he texted, but I thought that was more so like, can I get in your draws type texting and so I was like nah he live in Philly I'm in New York there's no point in really pursuing that unless he's really serious and then like I said he sat me down and he explained his intentions he's like this is what I want if you want this let's go if not then move around even with that but you know when people just want to get in your drawers then make the advances and make it seem like they're not making advances like Dude, if you want some, just say that because I might want the same thing too. But listen, <laughs> <laughs> but listen, you should have just you said know. that, right? You, sh- you right. know when people are just naturally trying to get in your underwear versus mm-hmm. naturally trying to get to know you, right? You know what I mean. Mm-hmm. And so I don't, I don't know. It's a very thin line. Yeah. And if you're not willing to go there, Jared, then I'm going. I'm just going to say this on camera. Then sometimes you should expect everything that's get coming to you. Sometimes dating is about risk and reward. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do a little yeah. risk. Go go there sometimes, boo, so you can see the reward. You might like, damn, but babe, we've been talking for this long, and I'm happy it took you this long to notice me. It took you this long for us to be where we're at right now. Damn, but you hear those stories with your parents or your friends like, yeah, 
When I first met Melvin, he was not trying to give me no play. He was, and you see these beautiful relationships flourish. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it takes the risk in order to get over the hump to get the reward. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It seems like you don't want to take no risk. I don't think, I don't think that's, I don't think that's true. I don't think, um, I think I just like knowing what, what we're dealing with. But you don't. That's, That's the thing. Uncertainty. You don't. That's the risky part. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. Even, I even if you think you more. know, you probably still don't know. Like Ooh. I learned new stuff about Jeremy right now. Like I'd be like, I didn't realize that you were like that. Mm -hmm. You know, so you're gonna keep learning about people. But what I will say is that I don't think it's fair for you to keep or people in general, not just you, but mm -hmm. to put yourself to give someone <laughs> all of you up front. That's not fair to you or anyone, you know? Like, you can't, because then every time you don't get what you want, you're going to feel jaded. You're going to feel whatever that feeling is that you get annoyed, you know? Like, Ooh. it's it's not fair to you to keep putting yourself, putting all of yourself out there. Give people doses, you know? Like, like I said, here's my Instagram. Or for you, here's my number. You can use it. Then maybe if we keep talking, then you can have my Instagram. Hello. If we keep talking from there, maybe let's meet up. Mm -hmm. And then if we go from there, then maybe you can come over. You know, like, get, don't give everyone everything up front because you, when you don't get nothing returned, you're going to always feel jaded. And then it's going to create this trauma or you're going to put the, put up this wall and now no one can get past it. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Mm -hmm. My friend had introduced me to one of her friends. Like, not, we haven't even met yet, right? And this is why I don't I don't give out my Instagram. So my friend, she's another she's a therapist. She's in school for her doctorate. Um, she was like, "Hey, I got a friend who will be per and the straight girls always do this. I don't know why. Oh, hey, I got a friend. I think you will, will be kicking off with." I was like, "Who?" Mm -hmm. And she was like, "Well, he's a helping profession like you. He's a therapist as well." I was like, "Okay." I know how I, how I am. I was like, "I don't know about that." I said, Two "But I'm open to it." Lord Jesus. Exactly. So she gave me the guy number and she told him who I was and she told me who he was and she gave him I think my number I'm like okay listen I said well where, where he at like I know you gave my number so what's up and so finally I don't know how we started um I don't know how I got his number I think it was on Instagram oh yes I saw her post him on Instagram she was like this is who I was talking about and I followed him on Instagram at this point we didn't have each other's numbers yet mm -hmm. and so it was going good but when I follow him, my page is private, so he requests to follow me. I'm like, who? I don't even have this guy's number yet, so he's going to see everything. I, I approved it. And so he was loving some of the content, and I'm like, well, he's seeing like me out in the club twerking and stuff. I'm like, I don't know how this guy's going to feel about all this. And so then we started texting, and then it just fell off all together. And so we were posing meet up. He lives like in Lancaster. I live out in Philly. Um, Which is how far away from? Um, it's a couple, uh, about an hour, hour and a half. Not not too close, but it's not too far. Mm -hmm. You can still meet up for a date, somewhere in the middle. But I feel like once he had my Instagram, I think he looked at me differently. Um, but he has both pages, my private and my personal, my, my business and my personal. Um, and I said, yo, what's up with your friend? Like, you told me he was interested or the type of person I am, and he just fell off. And she was like, I don't know what happened. Like, I spoke highly of you. Uh, I spoke highly of him to you. And I was I was interested. I don't know what happened. Yeah. It went down a drain. And so from then on, you were like, no Instagram. I feel like, because I didn't have his number for, we were just texting on Instagram. Mm. And I'm like, I don't want to be texting on this. You know, uh, yes, it's a public profile, public app. I, I want to be more personal. I want for you to have my number so we can make a more of a connection. But it went, we were supposed to meet up, we never met up. We saw each other on Instagram and I would like his pictures and uh, videos and everything. It was just weird. So mm -hmm. how did you um, rationalize it in your head then? Um, one, he, I will say he is in grad school and so he's extremely busy with his studies. So I, I kind of gave him a little bit of grace, like, okay, you're busy, it's stuff beyond me and I have to take me out of it. I'm not a top priority. But I'm like, if you're trying to get to know somebody, then you should make space and time. Right. I was in grad school, I did it. And I still had a social life and I still made time for my family, my friends, my loved ones. Yes, it's a huge commitment. But if you're trying to get to know somebody, you have to make space and time for that person. Mm -hmm. I felt like that wasn't even a priority. Right. So and I spoke to my homegirl, I said, well, why did you introduce me to this motherfucker? I feel like, 
And she was like, that was totally not, you know, how I envisioned this. She said, he needs to be responsible and speak up. Hey, if this is not the right time, also it's timing. If this mm-hmm. is not the right time to date, to invest in dating, then say that. Yep. Instead of having me hung on, like, Break that breadcrumb shit. I was pissed off. Yeah. And I, I still today, he still follows me. I'm like, I don't like a picture. And he texted me yesterday, happy Thanksgiving. Mm. I'll mute somebody real quick. I don't yeah. <laughs> I No, I, like told, I had somebody breadcrumb me before. And I was just like, look, we... We, if either we're either we're doing this or not, you know. It's like I'm not gonna be. I forget exactly what I said. It was and it wasn't for a relationship. <laughs> it was more for like a like a, a friend with benefits situation. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. it was just like, okay, so are we like linking up, linking up or not? Like, what are we doing? Um, and he would just like text me on the holidays, like Happy Thanksgiving. I'm like, all right, thanks. I hadn't talked to you in two months, but okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like, are, why are you texting me right now? So, I don't know. Eventually, I just got to the point where I was just like, I just kind of laid it out. And I was just like, um, look, if you're not interested in meeting, you know, maybe we should talk. Uh, but, you know, reach out to me when, reach out to me when you're ready. And, you know, I had to, I had to dead that because I can't do, I can't do the, the breadcrumb stuff. So, can I say that I think that you guys are actually like changing my mind a little bit. I actually went went into this thinking that yeah, you should play hard to get, but now y'all making me feel like that's mean, almost like maybe I should just state my well, intentions and be upfront. So, I think there's value to stating your t- intentions and being upfront, um, but. I don't know. I mean, you guys are saying, you know, play. You guys are saying you should play hard to get. I, I, mean, I, I still think I, initially. I, I just, like I said, I still think it's um, a protective thing to not give all of yourself, which I guess I would say is playing hard to get. Yeah, I mean, I I don't, and, and you know, in my case, and maybe I've given you guys this impression that I give all of myself, and I, and I don't know exactly what that. I don't know exactly what that looks like versus I mean, because I don't know if you if I even can give all of myself within the first couple of uh, meetings. But um, I think maybe we should define exactly how to play hard to get. Um, What does that look like? Because if you're saying we should play hard to get them, it's very initial, very flirty, very playful, very light. Playing hard to get is supposed to be light and easy. If it becomes a thing where you're like, oh my God, this nigga text. Oh, I don't want to say nigga. Y'all are influencing me. <laughs> this guy is texting me. never heard me say that I'm talking about this one. Uh, I will hit it like, this guy is texting me. I'm like, mm. If you feel like you're having a a moral compass issue, like, well, this is not the right time, and you're really struggling within yourself, do not play hard to get. Because naturally, you, you're, you're becoming a person that's liking this person. Mm-hmm. Do you, boo? Be honest about your shit. Playing hard to get should be light, fun, easy. Right. I if it's heavy, that. don't don't fucking do it. It's it's the beginning state. This is all right. Well, you want to see me? Okay. What you want? What you want to say? Oh, I don't. I, I I ain't got time on Thursday. How about Friday? How about that? You're you're playing, but you're still making time to initiate. and to initiate. Right. You know, I playing hard to get. It's like, mm-mm, let's see what you come up with. Oh, you want to see me? All right, cool. Where you taking me? So playing hard to get is like I want to see some initiative. Exactly, and that's, that's it. it. That's it. That's Just it. Show me a little initiative, not I'm stringing you along. Mm-mm, don't string. So I think that is good. Like I want my man to show some initiative, initiative that he wants me. Like that makes me feel wanted. That makes me feel like you want me as much as yeah. I want you. Mm-hmm. This guy I took out on a date, um, and I met him up in his state. You know, he lives in Delaware. And I met him up for you know in his um area. And I, I, I paid for it. I took him out. I said, let's meet up such and such. Take an initiative. I want to see you. I want to meet you. I took him out, and I went out there. And I said before the day, I said, you know, hey, we should do this again. He was like, yeah, we should. I said, well, you know what? The ball's in your court for the next day. And then I backed away. Mm-hmm. He was like, what that's me? I said, let's see what you're playing. I said, you said you want to see me, right? He was like, yeah, we had a good day. I said, well, playing it. Mm-hmm. And then the next couple of days, we were normally texting. He was like, so I want to see you. I was like, so why ain't you playing nothing? <laughs> so why ain't you, you want to see me? Why ain't you do nothing? No, that's 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 called lighthearted, playing hard to exactly. get. Exactly. Like, come on. It's not, yeah. I don't want to fucking see you. 
Yeah, I mean, look, and I, I would, I would agree with that. I guess maybe I just never thought of that as playing hard to get. It was just more about like seeing what your, seeing what the other person's intentions mm-hmm, were. Mm-hmm. Um, so maybe I don't know. Maybe it's a little. I don't know. For me, I am like all the way keep it real, and maybe that's not necessarily the best <laughs> way to be. <laughs> but I just, I can't. I don't know. I'm, I'm a little bit more comfortable you being like, that way. You be like, I think you cute. Here's my number. Hit me up. If not, I'm I'm gone. Let it fly. <laughs> Damn. That's, is that is that's how you feeling? Damn. No. No. Breaks. I mean, kind of on some level. On some level. <laughs> on some level. I will. I'll give you that. On some level. But um. But what's the pros and cons? Pros and cons of of what being, being hard to of get. playing hard to get. Let's start with the pros. Okay. Pros of playing hard to get. Um. You definitely get to see if the person is interested. Okay. Yeah. I get to see your interest level. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. Y'all, y'all, were, the pro, <laughs> okay. y'all were pro playing okay, hard so, to get, so I can't level. give you no pros. Another level. pro. I give you some cons, though. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, get we'll get the cons. So the pro is, Melvin said what now? So you get to see their interest level. You get to see if they're interested in you or not. Another pro is um, you're, you're seeing a different side of them as far as vulnerability. Okay, you're playing hard to get. It's like, okay, well... Um, you're trying to really see if they're really going to go the full measure to be vulnerable. A lot of people are not like, right. like don't like to let their guard down. That's the say, Okay, you were actually able to be vulnerable. And what's some of the cons? Mm-hmm. Some of the cons are you end up playing games or yeah. missing out. Yeah, or Ooh. missing out because you weren't genuine. You weren't you weren't vulnerable enough. You know, and mm-hmm. I think that that's kind of where I come from. It's just like. We can we can play games and keep it uh, you know keep it you know cloudy territory yeah. or we can keep it real and I I know where you are and you know where I am and we can make a decision based on the facts. Mm-hmm. Um, so those that would be a con for me is that it's just very nebulous. It's very cloudy. You don't know you exactly like, where the other person stands. You like to be. You like it cut. Clear. Yeah. I like it to be clear. Yeah. yeah. Another con is it keeps it on surface level. Maybe I don't want to yeah. be surface level with you. Sure. You know? I, I want to go deeper. I but keep it surface level. to flip that, when you are playing hard to get, you get to see that other person show that vulnerability. And so, so when you when you see that, your job, as if you're, if you're the one playing hard to get, is to then be a little bit more vulnerable too. Yes. And so now it's, like you said, the ball is in your court now. Mm-hmm. I, I did with you. I showed my initiative. Mm-hmm. Can you do the same for me? And this is specific. I would say this is specific for male-to-male mm-hmm. relationships because, like you said, there's no set mm-hmm. dynamic for who is supposed to be the cat, who's supposed to be the mouse. So when you see that they're showing initiative, your job is to then give a little bit more, you know? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I think that could be a pro and a con, you okay. know? Well, I think we've talked it over pretty well. Um, it's up to y'all to make the decision whether Again, you want to play hard to get or not. I think we take have... Take the pieces <laughs> that you take like. Take the meat and spit out the bones. Exactly, Listen. exactly. And what's uh, comfortable for you? Right, right. I, I mean, I think we've... Can we, can we agree that there is not necessarily a right way to do this? Right, I agree with that. Okay. Because <laughs> it felt like y'all was just like, no, y'all need to. I'm right, to do what? <laughs> so you don't have to play hard to get. Like, if you want to play hard to get or not, like, you can oh, yeah, do yeah. either one, but it's, I guess, about how you approach do what's best both for situations. You. you know, maybe take a little bit from both pieces. Keep can it I light, say, keep it fun. leave room for grace. Like, everybody doesn't, it's not. Okay, I don't want to use the double negative. Everybody doesn't have to be interested the way you are. Mm-hmm. So just leave leave room for that, you know? Absolutely. Leave room for people. Some people might grow there. Yeah, let people grow grow their interests. And that that's might be what playing hard to get is. Grow like, with grace. Ooh. There you go. Another right. that's a t shirt. And uh, <laughs> and on that note, we want to thank everybody for listening and watching. And remember, if you have no one else, you got us. Ha <laughs> ha